Yo, what is going on guys? It's your boy Sue here, bringing us a Photoshop tutorial, bringing us a cool little showcase reel advertisement slash banner design tutorial here today, whatever you guys choose to wish to, uh, you know, use this kind of style of tutorial here today. I thought it was a pretty cool idea. I actually revamped my, like, my banner design uh, for YouTube and such with this kind of like show reel, quote unquote, uh, like basically putting like these little thumbnails of like work. Uh, previous work of like maybe your favorite work or in like in a, you know speaking another term of like advertising designing putting like you know different pieces of that product in like a thumbnail setting where you can actually show off the product immediately of course this is like two different kind of things I'm talking about but Advertisement design, you want to show as much as possible, and this is a pretty cool little neat way of doing it. Also, for banner designs, for maybe someone who's like creative, whatever whatever creative you know field you're in, showing off multiple things in like one solid picture is probably like the coolest thing you can do. It's just a very nice way of you know showing you know like I guess showcasing things that you want people other people to see without clicking on your site or maybe browsing your channel immediately but I think it's a pretty cool the color scheme I have here is just really nice like the atmosphere that I have here like this little black background uh, with this very nice little simple backing and such also I'll talk about that in a second but you know it's just very it looks very clean and you can just see I just have these random just like thumbnails from videos and like uh, recent product designs uh, or like product clients whatever anyway I just had these recent like little things in the background as like these little thumbnails here now mind you guys oh my god this is like completely bare bones I'm just thinking of like how bare bones this is uh you can do whatever you want though this it doesn't have not it does not have to be a rectangle it doesn't have to be uh you know any shape recognizable it can be like a little little puzzle pieces maybe I don't really know I'm just giving you ideas uh hexagons it can be a circles it can be whatever but as long as you make it uniform and looks really nice and cool I think you're good to go, and I think this is a really cool little neat idea. Also, a new product design that's actually launching as soon as this video uploads, actually. It's called my Pattern Pack something McGee. I have no clue what I'm going to call it yet, but I know it'll be finished completely by the time this video is done. So what it is, I've been working for a little bit. I've been using the, uh, I've used the pattern, like, you know, you know, whatever in Photoshop. I use patterns because I thought it was a really cool, you know, way of using um, you know the scale feature and pattern to actually sh give me more than one look for one pattern of course So I have these patterns here. I have, I'm not gonna show you all of them of course because it's gonna be like it's gonna actually be five dollars The same exact price matching with my brush pack So if you guys love my brush pack you're gonna love this and the po uh, the purpose of this is just to help you guys with backings Or just to add like little simple detail to make your background look a lot better So I already have one on already you can see this one like this sort of cool little wispy one here If I just take it off you can see it just adds character to the the, the design itself and it's pretty Pretty gosh darn cool so whatever you you click on one you want to use it you can change the scale around and like you know put it whatever you know whatever works for you of course and like this would be my favorite one so far I'll probably like leave this one on but it's pretty gosh darn cool if you guys want to purchase it down below I actually have a video in the description uh, down below in the like the product you know link on the self channel or the self you know website I probably have like a simple thing of how I use it and I can change the color and stuff with that So it's very easy and I think it's very cool for you guys if you're having any problem with like backings or any problem like having All uh, these very like really nice clean looks to like your banner trying to add something nice to it This is definitely for what you would want and it's cool if you have my brush pack as well Then you'll love it as much so geez like I know and also the everything pack uses will get this for free just because it's gonna be another product that you get uh, that's just like how the everything pack works anyways thank you guys so much for listening to that a little spiel there but let's get back to the tutorial purpose uh, the tutorial of today like I said this is gonna be pretty freaking cool I'm actually gonna show you guys how I actually start off with like the background uh, atmosphere that I have here it looks really re like really really nice so I'm gonna start off with that so let's go in right now so don't forget 200 likes on this video equals a secret down below which I'll probably just put the uh, maybe like a PSD of this maybe if you guys want want that um yeah right there all right cool let's get going right now so I already have my logo set I already have some pictures I just found on my desktop and I just wanted to use this for the example I have those here already as well so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is actually changing my background from whatever color it is it's probably gonna be white but I'm gonna change it to black so this black that I'm using right here is the hex code 242424 so 24 24 24 and that's the black that I'm gonna be using that's a very nice little you know clean looking you know black it's not completely like you know this very distorted black um, so that with that being said I have my logo here already as well and I'm just gonna set up text really quickly just because I want to set up the text now as well and now this is of course like, this is gonna be different if you're using for this like style of whatever the style of design for an advertisement design you're probably not gonna be doing this first but for banner designs I would say start off with the text first just because uh, just get this out of the way because the other part is probably gonna be the only part that's gonna take you the long time and this is just it's just supposed to be a clean background that just has a little bit of work in the uh, in like in the mix or or maybe it's not working maybe it's like 
I don't know, cool pictures that you've taken or cool adventures on your, like, vlog channel. I know I have a lot of people who follow this channel as, like, vlog channel who just use this to make their vlog, you know, background look pretty cool. So, we'll put, like, little adventure things that you did in your vlog maybe in the little thumbnails part. But, since I'm a graphic designer, I'm going to be using just work that I've done previously for the thumbnail. So, I didn't really set up too much. I just set up some simple text and a simple, my logo in the dead smack in the middle. Uh, this can be whatever. This can be your name and bigger text that says SOHQ maybe, but I just have my logo as like the main, you know, focus. So whatever way you set this up is whatever way you set it up. But I'm gonna show you guys this very nice way of making this very clean black that I also have uh, in here as well. So to set this off, we're gonna go ahead and make a simple CC. So the brightness and contrast is gonna be using for now. We're gonna be using the brightness setting, maybe about six brightness, and my contrast about 36. And what this does is immediately gonna put our tone of what, whatever color we started off with. And this is kind of like a cheesy way of doing it, but the reason why we did this is because over this uh, brightness and contrast, we're gonna be using a simple white brush on the top. So we're gonna change our foreground color to white. A simple brush, which is like a nice little soft brush here. And I'm just gonna change the size using Control Alt right click, and then move my mouse left and right to change my diameter for the shortcut. And I'm gonna click one good time right on the top. Actually, we're doing it in the middle. We'll click in the middle this time. We're gonna click in the middle. We're gonna lower our opacity down, and we're just gonna do it to about maybe 15%, just to keep it nice, you know, formal letter, uh, formal numbers, um, or even numbers, whatever you want. I don't know OCD. Anyway, <laughs> we're gonna change our filter. On this, and we're gonna put a noise on this little light right here. So I'm gonna put maybe a noise about 35%. That's pretty good. Now I'm gonna actually put this on overlay, actually. And I'm gonna probably put my opacity up just a little bit. <clears throat> I'll say that's pretty good. And right over this one, after, right over this noise layer, we're gonna put another white brush, dead smack in the middle with no noise. And we're not gonna put it on an overlay. We're gonna leave it on normal. And we're gonna lower the opacity down. And we'll say that looks pretty good for now. We'll put it on, I guess, eight. Or we can just lower our passage down the noise one, put it at 10, and put this one up. I would say that would work pretty evenly too. All right, we'll put it on 10. There we go. So what we have for the lighting so far is just basically a nice little noise brush right in the middle. Uh, whatever the noise setting was, I forgot what it was. It was uh, 35 amount. And right above that is just another simple light layer on the top or in the middle. And just put it on 10 opacity with simply keeping uh, the layer, no, uh, layer style on normal. And then once we have this here, we're gonna put a curve in. We're gonna put a simple curve. We're gonna drop this down right immediately. I'm gonna put this one up. So there we go. Now we have this very nice black coming in right now. And right above this curve, we're gonna make another new layer and do another simple light right on the top, dead smack in the middle. And there we go. We have set up a very simple black, almost like kind of like Lightroom kind of thing right here. Very quick. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, we're gonna leave the opacity yet for that. Just like no, we'll leave it for that just for now. Um. Once you're done with this, you're basically done with like the whole banner part. You're 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 done with the whole like making it clean, and we're just gonna start working on the uh, the little showcase reel that we have going on here. So we're gonna group this together, all this kind of stuff here, uh, just so I can get this out of the way a little bit. We're gonna call this edit later or edit whatever, whenever you want to do it. So we're gonna start off with showing you guys how to actually make the separators or the spacers for the photos. Mind you guys, this is like a bare bones kind of thing. Like I said, you can always edit this, make it with your own. I'm gonna use Control H really quickly to put my rulers up. If you guys don't have any rulers in your uh, your you know space that you're working in, whatever you're working in, whatever document size you're working in, I'm working in a Twitter header dimension, which is 1500 by 500, 200 resolutions is what I'm working in right now. If you guys really wanna know, uh, this is just a simple Twitter header dimension. Anyway, uh, Control R is to bring up your rulers. And in any dimension, whatever you're in, if you're not in mine, whatever you could do is if you take either you know horizontal or vertical uh, ruler, if you just like slowly go to where like you would think the middle is, and you slowly like kind of like you know go around it, it will snap. So you can see this is the middle regardless wherever I go. Boom, it will snap there, and in the same way horizontal, it will also snap where you think the middle is. It will snap for you and show you that this is the middle of the document page. Do that, and this will help you guys out with the whole spacing thing. So. I'm going to take the rectangle marquee tool, which is actually M on my keyboard for the shortcut. And I'm going to go ahead and set this off by like using, I'm going to select this whole entire box first. And I'm going to go ahead and say, I'm going to move this here in the middle because I want to have four. I want to have like four little, like little thumbnails here. I'm going to actually right click on this, transform selection, drop this down to like the middle of that maybe. And we'll say that that's our first box. That's how, that's going to be our box thumbnail for our product designs or our, uh, our work or whatever. I'm gonna select it with any color, so I'm just gonna either right click fill it with it a color or just alt back uh, alt backspace because it's already white since we changed our brush to that. That's perfectly fine. Now I'm gonna hide my rulers, control H. 
I'm gonna hold Alt and Shift. That way, when I duplicate this layer here, it's gonna keep it nice and straight for me. I can just move it right on the side of this. I can I can put a little space in between if you guys wish to, but I'm gonna put no space. Eh, I mean, like I really could put a little bit of space, just like that. That wouldn't look too bad. I don't really know if it will change like the entire aspect of the design. I'll just leave a little space there. Why not? Uh, just to see what comes out out of this. Uh, what is it? Just move the arrow keys, just like so, and then one more time for the fourth row. And just like that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just select this all. Control T to free transform. I already selected all these holding shift. I'm just gonna move this in a bit. That way everything's still even, but I wanted to just fill the uh, the banner only. And then pretty much I'm gonna hold alt again and shift again. And while everything's select, I'm gonna duplicate it one more time. And I'll put a nice little spacing just like that. And then we have our spacers. Now we're basically done with like, you know, working with, you know, how I'm gonna actually put the photos in. This is how we're gonna do it. I'm gonna name this one through eight. Just like so, oh, that's a six. Uh, one through eight, just like so. I'm gonna group these with control G, and these are our spacers. So I'm gonna name this to spacers, and this is how we're gonna select it. So, when you have the little spacers things here, as soon as you find your photo that you wanna use, I'm just gonna select one really quickly. We'll just use this one. I gotta put the photos above this, though. We're gonna find our photo that we wanna use, and we'll say, I already know number one's right here, so I'm gonna just put where I think I wanna select like the coolest focus point of like the banner design or whatever work that I've done, whatever cool little focus point I want to put it on, that's where I'm gonna try to like, you know, I can lower my opacity down to see the space behind it as well. Just trying to put like, you know, where I want to put this at. When you're taking your time on this, please do that. I'm just gonna be going for it and just like putting in random spots. But even when you're doing like a product design, if you have like some cool like little place to put, uh, maybe like a, a, a sp like a specific specification of the, the uh, product, let me put like a little simple text around it that shows you what like that part is. Do something like that kind of i'm just trying to help you guys think but anyway we take our number one spacer here and since we have these spacers if we press control on our keyboard or commander or is it options i have no clue i'm not great with mac but you guys have the shortcut too if you select it with whatever control is on mac i really don't know um you select the thumbnail just like so and it will just select it for you and when you click on back on the layer that you want to you know cut out what you're going to do is this is like little this is basically the marquee tool uh cut out outline here I can press M on my keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool to bring up when I, the, when I right click on this on this layer right here. When I right click on this layer now, then I'm on my rectangle marquee tool. It'll give me the option to layer via cut. You click on that, and pretty much whatever's going to be above it is what you want to keep, and whatever's below it, you want to delete. So this is number one. Boom, and we're just going to do this the entire way, all the way through, and I'm just going to put it just like that. We'll take space number two, click on the thumbnail, click back on what we want to cut out, and on our keyboard for the rectangle marquee tool, right click lay a via cut and we're just going to do this continuously just enough so we get all of our spacers done and filled in and we'll just take this joe weller one uh i don't want to cut it out right there i mean let me make a, at least somewhat of an effort to move it boom cut that there put it on three uh da -da -da -da. we'll take the Boston banner or whatever and we'll put it here cut this out there and it's just like a rinse and repeat kind of thing. Uh, this is number four. And we will take the MKBHD one. One of my favorite tech guys. I don't know if you guys like like tech or whatever, like we freaking awesome dude right here. I just love his work. Um, we'll take the spacer, control click on it. Rectangle market tool, cut it out. Just like that, number five. And we're on like this one, I think. No, we're on this one, right? All right, we'll take the Kobe Persons banner. Take it, control click on the thing, click on the layer, on the thumbnail I meant to say, cut the layer out, delete it, and put the number. And I did a League of Legends banner for a client, one of my favorite League of Legends banner that I've done. Looks pretty cool, I think. And we will go ahead and click on this thumbnail with control click, press it on my keyboard, delete it again, and we're on our last one, and we'll just, I have my revamp template thing, picture. And we'll just take it, drag it in the middle, click on the spacer, control click, oops, control click, and click on the picture again, and cut it out. And there we go. Now, we have all of our spacers already done, so we don't really need our spacers group. I'm just going to hide it just in case I want to fix things. Um, By the way, when I do this, by the way, like I said, this is completely bare bones. You can use whatever shape, you can use whatever, you know, however you want to fixate it. Uh, I googled photo gallery in Google, and I found these, like, cool ways you can put, like, your photos like on like you know whatever like oh my dog is barking sorry excuse me um 
like you can put whatever you put your photos in whatever spot that you want to put it in um like i said like photo gallery go for it google it you can find these cool like places of putting your photo anyway so all right my dog is like really barking like, can you like not bark for me please please thank you so much anyway so you can do it whatever. you can do whatever but what, once you're done with this you can either keep this on normal or you can put it on luminancy i'm gonna put it on luminancy and so lower my opacity down just like so and I'll say Luminacy is probably the best bet for me here with this kind of like setting with like how I set up with the uh, the black background or whatever. So I'll, I'll say like that. It's pretty good. 25%. That's pretty good. Looks pretty nice here. And I kept the margin between like the top and the bottom just to give it some more character, I guess you can say. But mind you, if you guys even want to keep this bare bones like I have it like this, do something cool with it. I can do something like mess out the perspective. Uh, if I just take the uh, the Boston banner or whatever, I'll take this one, which is above number eight, I think, right? If I took this, Control T on this to free transform it. Right click, perspective. If I just change the perspective of some of these, you can make it look a lot cooler than you think. Uh, which is, this was number five, right? Uh, perspective, just take the top corner or whatever and move it like so. You can give it this cool little like little pers uh, perspective, but I think it looks pretty gosh darn cool. Um, with that being said, we can just add some other things like this. I'll just add something like this. We'll add like some white, like a nice little white bar with a rectangle marquee tool. I just have this foreground color already on white. And let me also just duplicate this, just like so, holding Alt and dragging it down. Double click on this, select the color with color overlay, put it on green, and there we go. You have this little cool little margin thing on the bottom. And that's what I have here on my YouTube banner. I think I just did the same exact thing as I did for this tutorial here to show you guys how I did that. Uh, as well, like I said, I have this new product thing here. I'm going to use it just really quickly just to put a simple uh, thing on this. I'm going to drag this below everything though. Um, just like a nice little, you know, simple backing. You can use brushes or whatever, but whatever you would do after this is all up to you. If you do want to add color, I would say either change your photos to put it on normal and not put it on luminancy, or you can also just go ahead and uh, like use maybe a simple brush, like a green brush, like since that's my uh, color that I'm using. I'll click once, and I can just click again like so and put this on either, I think linear dodge ad would work out if you want to put any color on it. Use something like this. I think this looks pretty gosh darn cool. So I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial here today. I really I really can't wait to see what you guys do with this. I think the perspective thing, I just came up with it just now. And I literally love this. I'm actually going to think of something else different for like a, I guess, whatever banner I'm going to work on next. But I think it's pretty cool. So whatever, I hope you guys really enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the new product that's coming out, the little pattern pack. It will be in the description below. I would advise you really to buy it if you guys really are looking to just help out your, your, your backings or just add a detail that's just very simple and it just looks really freaking cool. Also, don't forget to follow me on Twitter at SysWHQ for any like, you know, updates or if you guys want to tweet at me any questions and stuff like that, please, or in the comment down below, uh, in the description, or I said in the description, please comment down below any like, you know, maybe tutorials you want to see me do. I'm also checking my, uh, my uh, actual website. I have a SysWHQ website. You can check out my port over there. I moved everything. I cleaned it all up. I think it looks pretty good over there. So please give me some constructive criticism. If I spilled anything wrong, please let me know as well in the comments section below. So please check that out as well. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great Friday. Switch you out. Peace.